Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about visibility modifiers in Kotlin. So in this class that we have created, we are not using any visibility modifiers. And when we don't put any visibility modifier, that means they are public by default. In Kotlin, we have four types of visibility modifiers and they are public, internal, private and protected. In this case, we are not giving any visibility modifiers. That mean all these functions and variables are public by default. The next one is internal. Now when you make a variable or function internal, that means it is available everywhere in the same module. A module is a set of Kotlin files that are compiled together. So don't worry about internal for now. The main things are public, private and protected. So public means all the variables and functions that are defined as public or you have not defined any visibility modifier. That means they are by default public. So public means they can be accessed everywhere. Now the next one is we are skipping this internal for now. So the next one is private. Now private means it will be available only inside the containing file or class. For example, if I make this length private, then what will happen is our program will give us a compile time error. That means we cannot access length as it is private in box. So when we make a property or function private, we cannot access it anywhere outside that file or class. Now you can even make the setter as private. For example, I want this box name setter to be private. Now when you make this thing private, you cannot use setter outside this class or file. So if I go to main.kt, I am getting the error here now because the setter is private and we cannot set the value outside that class. So this was private. You can use private for all the variables, setters and functions and for getter you cannot use a visibility modifier because for getter the visibility modifier is same as the property. So here the properties are public that means this getter is also public. If we make the property as private the getter will be private as well. So this is how the visibility work with getters but for setters we can set visibility modifiers. So we are done with public and private. The last one is protected and it is same as private except the properties that are defined as protected can be accessed inside subclasses or child classes. But we have not learned about subclasses or child classes yet. So we will learn about protected in coming videos. So that is all for the visibility modifiers friend. In case you have any question, you can leave your comments below. And I have given a link to the official documentation. From there, you can learn more about visibility modifiers. So that's all for this video friends. Thanks for watching.